A key factor in the gasification process is the wood itself. When preparing firewood for your wood gasification boiler, you need to consider three factors, quality, size, and moisture. Wood quality will affect the burn time and heat output of your furnace. Hardwoods such as oak and maple are very dense. They burn more slowly and produce more heat for longer periods of time. Softwoods such as poplar, pine, and spruce are more porous. They tend to burn more quickly, producing more intense heat for a shorter period of time. Choosing higher density types of wood will increase your burn times and heat output. For example, the heating value of one cord of white oak is 18 million BTUs, while the same quantity of white pine has only 10 million recoverable BTUs of heat. Many homeowners use hardwood during the coldest months of the winter and softwood in the spring and fall. This way, they can produce the right amount of heat throughout the heating season while maintaining similar burn times. While wood quality is important, the moisture content of the wood will have a greater effect on your furnace's overall efficiency and heat output. If you have ever tried to burn a freshly cut branch or log, you know how difficult it is to make it burn. A piece of green wood has about 67% moisture. Before the wood can burn, the fire has to first boil out all the moisture. Burning wood with a high moisture content will waste much of the furnace's heating energy just to dry the wood. Ideal, seasoned wood has a moisture content between 19 and 25 percent. If you need to burn wetter wood, try to use smaller pieces and mix it with very dry pieces of wood to achieve better efficiency. Extremely dry wood with moisture content below 19 percent will burn very quickly with an intense flame. To prolong burn times when burning very dry wood, use large unsplit pieces and mix them with some wetter pieces. The best way to ensure that you will have dry, seasoned wood in the winter is to stack it properly. If you cut your own firewood, do not move it to your woodshed immediately. Stack it outdoors in an open area so the sun and wind will dry it over the summer. Make sure your wood piles are well apart from each other and stable. Create vertical ends by crisscrossing the end pieces or by planting a stake in the ground at the end of your pile. Cover the top with a tarp so rain cannot soak the core of your pile. Stacked this way, most wood cut in the spring will be properly seasoned and ready to heat your home in the fall. If you are purchasing commercial firewood, check the moisture content before moving it to your woodshed. If the moisture content is above 25%, allow it to season outdoors before burning it. Checked ends, lighter coloring, and a hollow sound are good indications that a piece of firewood is ready to burn, but a moisture tester is the best way to ensure that you are burning dry, well-seasoned wood. You can also tell if your wood has the right moisture by how it burns in the furnace. If it is hard to start a fire and it takes a long time to get the furnace up to temperature, the wood is too wet. Bridging also occurs when the wood is too wet. Bridging results in a minimum amount of charcoal which creates smoke in the chimney, very little heat output and almost no flame in the lower chamber. Burning wood with either a very high or very low moisture content will affect furnace efficiency and may result in smoke and creosote buildup. The size and length of logs will also affect furnace output. When burning properly seasoned wood, log diameter is not as important. However, larger diameter logs will generally burn longer than smaller diameter ones. A smaller piece of wood releases gases more quickly than a larger piece. This is because it has more surface area relative to its size than a larger piece. Burning properly seasoned firewood of the right quality and length will enhance the efficiency and heat output of your wood gasification boiler.